right, guys. So this is a piece of basswood. This is made out of basswood. So what we're doing is there are all these cracks and divots like this one right here that are gonna eventually become moisture cracks or areas where moisture can get in. So we've got to fill these. Best way to do that is to take this piece of basswood, sand it down, fit it in the crack as tight as I can, and then glue it. And then that'll be my base for the repair. And then the repair after that, we'll get a, a spackling coat on it and then a cover coat on it. And we'll do that all the way through here where we've got cracks. All of these are gonna be moisture problems if we don't take care of them. Okay guys, stay safe, thank you. Hi guys, so when you're making repairs on antiques like this, you're not, I'm not worried about uneven surfaces or, I, I, matter of fact, I kind of want the surfaces to be a little uneven. I want it to show what it's been through. I want it to tell its story. But what you are doing on these cracks is I run the X-Acto knife around. I take a look and see if I've got any problems. That's a little one. It's kind of like the dentist, you know, where he goes around in your teeth and he feels your teeth. I'm not worried about any of these, but then I come to this little place where my X-Acto knife just falls in. This area is an area I'm concerned about. So this is an area that I'm gonna fix. See how that falls in like that? I wanna, I wanna make sure we don't have that kind of an area where I can get any water in there and later on it's gonna become a rotten area. So we're just sealing it up. Hope it goes for the next 30 years. Thanks guys, talk to you later. Okay guys, so we've talked a lot about cracks in antiques and we've talked a lot about having to repair them. 
So what we've done is we've done a time-lapse video of two repairs, one here, one here. We shave down the, the basswood until it fits all the way in. First, we take the, uh, the exacto knife and our small tool and we work through there to get all the bad wood out, make sure we've got everything clear. And then we sand these down and fit them in. And this is the finished product of both of them. You'll see me injecting glue in with our injector. And then, uh, um, and this is pretty much the same thing we do all over this piece here and all over all the other pieces that you see. It takes quite a bit of time. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>
Hi guys. So, Deanna and I collaborated on this project. Um, what we're, if you look at all of the horses or all of the animals or the projects that we did, we do, you'll notice that you don't see a grain in them. You don't see the wood grain. And that's because all of them are covered with a very fine cover coat. And the cover coat is some level of joint compound and other materials we're using uh, a modeling face. Now, we're trying to fix the damage done here, but we're not trying to make it look better than it did when it was originally built, right? That's it. We're trying to go for a restorative Yes, we're concept. gonna we're gonna keep the same color scheme. Um, we're gonna keep the the wood as it is. We're not gonna change the shades or anything. Right, and it's like it's like there's a lot of damage over here on the side, but that's original damage from the from when it was originally made. Uh, there are cracks uh, in here that we we talked a lot about whether or not we should fill. Um, because they're part of the of the give and take of the wood and the original construction. Uh, we decided though to cover, one give me a hand with this? We decided to fill this crack on this side. We decided that that was an important one to completely fill because the boards are just terribly uneven. Although, again, there's damage here that we think is probably from the original construction. So we left that. Um, so during Deanna will get this as soon as I do a fine tune, uh, a fine tune on all of this. And then she will start in on painting the interior. And then the same has been done here. All of this has been repaired, either with wood inserts or, uh, or our filler compound. Okay, we, uh, we had some chipping that happened over here, so we had to repair this piece of wood. But again, you'll see that this is a very uneven cut, okay? But again, that's part of the original construction. And we're not trying to change it, we're trying to bring it back to its original look. Thanks guys, uh, we'll give you a look when it's all done. Take care, be safe. Bye, Bye. see you at the Marrow.